So we've now dropped the grater attachment for the Mammoth Magnetic Sweeper and we are smoothing out a couple areas where we've already gone over with the debris digging rake just to leave a nice flat surface to drive around and work on. So with the Mammoth Magnetic Sweeper, as the rakes on the front are agitating and softening up the ground by digging into it, the grater on the back is smoothing that out into a nice uniform surface. And while this grating and grooming is happening, the magnet inside is also collecting metal debris. So we'll see once he gets back here, the metal that he picks up while he's already grooming the surface. This double function is perfect for clearing roads that are generally full of potholes and also nails. So access roads into mines or large yards like this. We've only been here for a small amount of time and we've already got a large portion of this place swept and we're just starting to groom it now. So if you have a large area that needs to be cleaned quickly, the Mammoth is the tool for the job. Here we've gone through grooming this yard. We've also had the magnet deployed. So using the hydraulic rams inside of the Mammoth Magnetic Sweeper, which is powered by two deep cycle batteries, we can use the rams to separate the 12 by 12 magnet assembly from the stainless steel debris pan, which can be monitored from the truck cab by watching these two indicator rods on the top of the magnet. So now that the magnet is being separated from the stainless steel debris pan, any of the debris caught in the bottom of the magnet will be dropped to the ground. So once the truck pulls forward here, we'll see what we collected while grooming this yard. Again, a ton of nails, which just goes to show how much of this metal debris is below the surface and can't be picked up without the debris digging rakes. So we're on site with the Mammoth Magnetic Sweeper working to clear this access road to a landfill. We went up already a couple times with the debris digging rakes lowered and the greater attachment. We're now running through with just the magnet down to collect any remaining magnetic debris that could cause a flat tire to any number of the heavy machines that operate on this road every day. So roads like this collect magnetic debris just due to daily operations. This could be broken pallets being moved around. This could be parts falling off machines or trucks. This could be the waste in this case that is being put into the landfill, falling off the trucks and gathering on the road. So by having a sweeper that can cover this much ground this quickly, you can prevent damages to equipment and visiting vehicles. So we're traveling at a pretty good pace here, probably 10 to 15 kilometers an hour, and I can still hear metal collecting on the bottom of the Mammoth. This is because of its 12 by 12 ceramic magnet assembly, the strongest magnet we've ever put into a sweeper. It's made to do this sort of thing where you're clearing a large area of debris of all shapes and sizes, and you don't want to have it so close to the ground that it's hitting over every bump. So here we have the sweeper set at about six inches, which is more than enough to pick up any kind of debris that we're gonna find on this road. So another feature of the Mammoth is that the driver, or the passenger in this case, can control the height of the magnet and the height of the trailer from inside the cab. So if we're going over a place that's nice and flat, we can lower the magnet down to really get everything. Or if we have the rakes deployed, and we're going over an area with concrete, he can hit the button, raise the trailer so the rakes are no longer in effect.